in essence, when I w will talk to people about the current use of math, math standards, the way it's taught, is that if I took a class of, let's say, 20 kids, and I look at what they're being taught, and the way it's being taught, and the different ways that problems are solved, that there almost is no way that a student cannot grasp what's going on. I did find that when I would work with them, I would fall back into the habit of explaining it as I understood it, and they would oftentimes, they could understand how I got the answer, but it did not make any sense because it was not a building block, that it was not memorization. Or my grandson might say, can I use the calculator at home to do homework? No, that's not going to help. And uh, now, the school also provided extra help for some of the students. Uh, but on an average classroom of, let's say, 20, I think part of the challenge is not that uh, the kids don't understand the different systems, but you have some that probably get bored because they're so far ahead. And then you have some that they need individual attention. I found that each of the teachers have a little bit different approach about how they sit with the kids, how they interact with them. If you have that type of a classroom situation where the teacher is very professional, uh, knows what to do, how to interact with the kids, but is flexible, and the kids understand that what they're building on, that there is no question in my mind that these standards will meet and that as the kids progress, particularly beyond third grade, that they're going to be successful in the way they learn math.